And then you get the call for UFC 47, <clears throat> April 2nd, 2004, against Genki Sudo. <laughs> Were, how did you feel walking into that matchup, especially up a weight class? Like, how does that conversation take place? To know you're a 45er and, you know, they offered you a fight at 55. You know, I mean, well, at that time, there was no, four, this was, uh, there is no UFC 145. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, yeah. Just to say you did it, you want to do it, you know? And like, I think I actually got an offer before that to fight Eve on a short notice fight in the UFC. And I was like, I turned it down. Um, it was like a couple weeks notice. And I remember Nick Ackerman ended up taking the fight that I turned down and Nick ended up getting knocked out. And I was like, Dodged a bullet on that one. Glad I didn't take that I, fight. I, I think it was Nick Aguilar. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Nick, yeah, Nick, Nick Aguilar. Aguilar. Nick Ackerman yeah. is a wrestler. Yes. Nick, a yeah, tough Nick, wrestler. Yeah, yeah. A tough wrestler, Nick Ackerman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, hey, by the way, on I, I fought on UFC uh, 47 with you then, but uh, that was a really good card, I believe. That wasn't that uh was that Tito Ortiz Chuck Liddell one? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, it was good, a good, good card, card man. man. Yeah. yeah, they kind of pulled out all the stops yeah. on that. So, what w- what was it like, like kind of dealing with Genki Sudo, like at weigh-ins and you know, day of the event? Uh, super respectful, t- super good guy. Man, I was a big fan of his. I was just, I wasn't in there to win, you know, in 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 <laughs> my heart of hearts. You know, I mean, of course, I wanted to, but I really wasn't that level. To be honest, you know, and, like, and up a weight really, class. I mean, let's talk. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. I'm really you're a pretty big ready, disadvantage. Ready to be there. I mean, I liked it because he was he was more of a grappler, which is you know I, I prefer to, to at that you know to fight a guy like at least if I lose, I'm just gonna get tapped. I'm not gonna get like destroyed, you know. Um. So it was. You know, I didn't quite know what he had, but I think he actually picked me. I think they gave him a bunch of guys to choose from. And he chose me out of the pack. He was pretty selective with who he fought, right? Look at who he fought. He fought a lot of, a lot of featherweights in his career. He fought well, Lee Remedia, fought me, Hoy Gracie. You know, he was a showman that was picking guys. He was a little bigger than, you know, more experienced. And then could, he could do some of his, like, uh, entertainment yeah, stuff, which, which yeah. I love. Man. It, I mean, I, he's one of my favorite fighters of all time. Yeah, I think your Lee Remedios when he had beaten Lee Remedios in the UFC. I think that yeah. that, that helped a little. Did he do any antics against you? Take us he through. came in like a geisha, didn't he? Come in like a geisha or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. His his opening was like as a geisha girl, and he's like blowing the butterflies around. But like, I kind of like jumped on him quick and punched and like took, and we started wrestling right away. So we didn't have time to do too much. You yeah, know, he, uh, fought, he he fought uh, Lee Remedios at UFC 38. I love yeah. that fight. Yeah, fight was awesome. Yeah, yeah, he, it was kind of like the I, you, and, you know you got to hand it to the UFC. Whenever they took people from foreign countries at this time, it was always like almost like a spectacle. Like it was there was somebody special coming, and you know Genki Sudo absolutely falls in that category. Like I, you, you'd be hard pressed to find somebody that watched him fight one time and say they're not a fan of his. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who set that fight up for you? Was it still Raquel and team or, or were yeah, you? Yeah, he was a team over? elite at that time. You were a team yeah, elite at that I, time. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, Keith did. Did you deal with Joe Silva? Because he'd be matchmaking by then. I mean, I think Keith did it all. I okay. mean, like I was I wasn't talking to anybody, you know. Okay. Mike, what about Phil Lee? Had to be Joe. <laughs> did Phil Lee ever you try back to off. slip you a business card? <laughs> Say that again. Did Phil Lee ever try to slip you a business card? I was talking to Phyllis Lee at some point. I was trying to get in a pancreas, I believe. Okay. I don't remember. Okay. I had to I think Phil's Keith was out. talking to Phyllis Lee. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, I can see Phyllis liking Keith. I could see that. <laughs> you know, we, we make fun yeah. of Chris, but Phyllis was prolific at that time. You know, I mean, she, she could help you out. So, uh, Mike, take it away. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. Okay. So then you take, <laughs> you, you, you have, like, obviously, we're disappointed in the outcome of Genki Sudo. You lose in the first round to, you know, Triangle Armbar. And you take six months off before going to combat zone. What is the reason for that? Did you get injured in that fight? Yeah. I actually, like, tore some, my arm up pretty good. Yeah. It was like a triangle armbar, and I popped something in my arm. Like, I, I had an avulsion where, like, a, a piece of the tendon pulled a little piece of the bone off. Like he, 
he armbarred me and it like my, my arm popped and like I, I tore some things in there. I didn't need surgery, but I was injured for a bit. 